Hey YouTubers, so today we'll do an unboxing and testing of a generic PCP hand pump from Amazon. Okay, the package or the item shipped from China within five to seven days. So there, uh, this is the brand or the manual. Okay, so when you type in Chinese PCP hand pump, you'll get a uh, mixed reviews. Okay, some worked for them, some didn't. And initially, I noticed that one of the comments says uh, it doesn't have an instruction. Okay, so with this uh, seller, it comes with it, and it comes in English with illustrations. Okay. So I will post the link in the description where you can buy the item. Okay. So immediately I noticed that there isn't much any assembly to do because the pump itself is foldable. So it has some good weight to it. And the air hose is already attached. Okay. The only thing you're gonna attach is the pump pump handle. That's about it. It is foldable for easy storage and transport. Okay. So it comes in three pieces. The pump itself, the pump handle, and a rebuilt kit. That's it. So, I think the only thing missing is the uh, oil. But no biggie. You can use uh, any silicone oil. Let's put it together. Okay, so when connecting the handle, you just use the two screws provided. Three slots go to the other side match the holes which I can do okay here we go you can see just match it and tighten Okay, before we start, we need to tighten the bleed valve, okay? Make sure that air is not sipping out. Okay, this is not the right size. Hold on. There we go. Okay. And then, like I said, uh, Silicon oil, I'm gonna use Crossman pellet gun oil because I have some extra. I don't know if they have problems importing um, chemicals or liquids from another country. So just put it in there. Makes uh, operation of the pump runs smoother and then when you pump it the first time you will notice a rubber o-ring that sometimes will go down or will stay up here uh, that's not a big deal because it prevents metal to metal contact okay and before we start uh, it says the max pressure is 310 bar 4500 PSI okay and some questions on Amazon if it can fill the Benjamin Marauder which requires 3000 PSI we will find out okay by the way you need to tighten this too for the to tighten the air hose before we start pumping and this is my Benjamin Marauder. You can see it 
is at below 1 or at 0 let's start to connect it so this is my first PCP and my first PCP hand pump Let's see if it connects without any problem. There. It's connected. And also I want to know how many pumps it will take to reach 3,000 PSI. Okay, first pump, two, so even though, okay, at uh, 50 pumps, I feel that the pump is starting to get warm I pump it up to 70 pumps still warm not hot and the reading is above 1000 psi and on the gun it shows the same reading okay so they say that don't rely on the uh, gauge of the gun look on the uh, gauge on the pump Okay, we're almost there. Okay, I'm at 167 pumps and it's a tad under 3000 PSI. And I know I already read this, but I found out that it's best that when you go down, use your weight. So I'm 5'9", 180 pounds. And push it down. See, I use my weight to go down. So 168. 169 178, 179, 180. Okay, 180, 3000 PSI. Oops, let me focus it. Let's disconnect, be the remaining air. Okay, disconnect your marauder. Easy. Whoops. Actually, I pumped more, more than 3,000 PSI on the gun. Okay. So, those of you asking if this generic PCP hand pump can fill a marauder, there you have it okay okay so for those of you who are new to PCP like me would you buy a PCP hand pump or a scuba tank actually I have both but there's more risk on the scuba tank because a, a brand new scuba tank will cost you around 200 to 300 bucks and the cheapest I can see is on Amazon it's around 160 but you need to do the visual test it's uh, it cost you 180 plus the actual fill plus your gas and uh, major difference yeah like I said from the cost if you have this you can refill your gun forever okay because this comes with rebuild kits or you can buy 
uh, separate additional rebuild kits and then for SHTF you will not be def dependent on dive shops not everybody has dive shops near them it will be quite a drive so sometimes um, you will add the factor of your time and the cost of refilling plus your gas okay just a reminder if you're a first time PCP hand pump user don't forget to tighten this the bleed valve and the air hose okay before you pump and as you can see there is no additional fitting for the marauder okay it's plug and play so there you have it my generic PCP hand pump thanks for watching guys